We will now define a Boolean algebra and then see the link between a Boolean algebra and a Boolean ring. So let's start with the definition of a Boolean algebra. So Boolean algebra is a set B which includes the two distinct elements 0 and 1 and it also includes three operations, one operation AND, one operation OR and one operation that we're going to call NOT. So this is a Boolean algebra where we have the operations that we call the identity operations, which says that A and 1 equals A, and A or 0 equals A. Then we have the complements, which says that A and not A equals 0, and A or not A equals 1. And then we have commutativity, which says that A and B equals B and A, and A or B equals B or A. And then we have the two distributive laws saying that A and B or C equals A and B or A and C. And we have the other distributive law which says that A or B and C equals A or B and A or C. So here is our first link between a Boolean ring and a Boolean algebra. If B with the operations addition and multiplication is a Boolean ring, then the Boolean operations AND, OR and NOT, they can be derived as A and B equals A multiplied by B and A or B equals A plus B plus A times B and NOT A equals 1 plus A. So let us look at an example of this link between the Boolean ring and the Boolean algebra. So we're going to use the example of the distributive law which says that A or B and C equals A or B and A or C. And then we're going to use this link that we had between the ring and the algebra. So let us first write the left hand side A or B and C. Now this can be written as if we see that A or B equals A plus B plus AB. This can be written as A plus BC plus ABC. For the right hand side we write A or B and A or C, this will be equal to A plus B plus AB times A plus C plus AC. And now we can expand this as A squared plus AC plus A squared C plus a B because A and B commutes plus B C plus A B C plus A squared B plus A B C plus A squared B C. Now in the first step I'm going to use the fact that all our elements are idempotent. So A squared equals A we have A plus AC plus AC plus AB plus BC plus ABC plus AB plus ABC plus ABC. And in the second step we're going to use the fact that we have characteristic 2 which means that A plus A equals 0. So now we have A plus AC and AC will cancel out, ABC and ABC will cancel out, and here we have AB and AB they will cancel out. So what we have left is A plus BC plus ABC. And here we can see that these two expressions that are equivalent in our Boolean algebra are also equivalent in our Boolean ring. 
Now let us look at an example with a specific boolean ring. So we're having the boolean ring with the two elements 0 and 1 and where we define the addition operation as addition modulo 2 and multiplication we define as multiplication modulo 2. And now we'll see how this gives rise to a boolean algebra. The operations in our boolean algebra are now given as a and b equals a times b where the multiplication here is modulo 2 and a or b is given by a plus b plus a times b where both the addition and multiplications are in modulo 2 and our not operation which we call a prime this equals 1 plus a where again our addition operation is modulo 2 so we're calling these and or and not so similar as for the boolean rings we can write the tables for our boolean algebra operations so if we start with the and operation the table will be just a times b so 0 times 0 is 0 0 times 1 is 0 1 times 0 is 0 and 1 times 1 is 1 and for the or operation we will have the following table so inputs can be 0 or 1 for a and b so we have a plus b plus a b 0 plus 0 plus 0 times 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 0 times 1 will be 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 times 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and modulo 2 this will be 1 and finally for the NOT operation which we denote by a prime we have the inputs 0 and 1 and here the output will be 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 modulo 2 will be 0. We can also go in the other direction where we define our ring operations as our operations in our boolean algebra. So if we have our boolean algebra with our three operations and or and not, then the operations addition and multiplication in our ring can be derived as a times b equals a and b and a plus b equals a and not b or not a and b. So let us now look at a specific example where we have our boolean algebra and we want to write this as our boolean ring instead with the operations addition and multiplication modulo 2. Our operations are now given as a times b equals a and b and we have a plus b equals a and b prime or a prime and b. And this can also for simplicity be written as a b prime or a prime b. Our multiplication table here can now be written as we have 0 and 1 as inputs and 0 times 0 will be 0, we'll have 0, 0 and we'll have 1. For our addition table we will have 0 plus 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 here is 0. We can note here that this operation is the same as the one that we previously defined as XOR. However, XOR is not part of our Boolean algebra, but it is a Boolean function. In this example, things get a little bit more interesting. What we have here is our boolean ring with the addition and multiplication operation 
which we built from the idempotent element in the ring Z6 with the addition and multiplication modulo 6 operations. Here we define the operations in our boolean ring as a plus b equals a plus b plus 4 times a times b and a times b equals a times b and in this case modulo 6. And the operations in the boolean ring were given by these two tables. Now let us look at the operations in our boolean algebra. So we have immediately that a and b will equal a times b modulo 6. a or b will in our boolean ring be a plus b plus a b and let us just write this as a plus b plus a b in this way instead to make it a little bit easier to see what is going to happen next this will be equal to a plus b plus 4 a b and here I simplify the notation a little bit so this we actually write as a plus b plus 4 a b continuing here we have plus a b plus and now we have 4 times this one times this one but a plus b we have already said is a plus b plus 4 a b and then times this one which is a b and this equals a plus b plus 29 AB and 29 modulo 6 is 5 so we have A plus B plus 5 AB so this is how we compute A or B in our boolean algebra so finally we can define our NOT operation as follows so NOT A equals 1 plus A so this is from our ring operations and this we can compute as 1 plus a now we can use this expression here which says that 1 plus a is 1 plus a plus 4 times 1 times a so it is 4a which is equal to 1 plus 5a the tricky thing to keep in mind here is that we have three types of operations. So we have the operations in our Boolean algebra, which is AND, OR, and NOT. And then we have the operations in our Boolean ring, which is addition and multiplication. And then we have the operations that allow us to compute uh, the results in our Boolean ring which is in this case our addition modulo something and in our case it is addition modulo 6 and we have multiplication modulo something and in our case modulo 6. So three types of operations here so we have the boolean ring operations, how we are computing in our boolean ring and our boolean algebra that we have here. So these are finally the tables that we get for our boolean algebra. So we have the table for the AND operation, the table for the OR operation, and the table for the NOT operation. And let us take one example here, so we can look at the OR table and we see that 3 OR 4 equals 1. So how did we reach this? Well, we had that A or B can be computed as a plus b plus 5ab this we had from the previous derivation so in this case 3 or 4 will be equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5 times in this case 3 times 4 which equals 3 
plus 4 plus 60 which equals 67 and 67 is 1 modulo 6 which is exactly this one that we have here.